P in PJ stands for Phil, who was my grandfather, and the J stands for Jean, which was my grandmother's middle name. So Phil and Jean started as an ag spraying business uh, back in the late 60s and uh, evolved to, to what it is today. So the Chinook program is definitely customer driven. So Quanta Services, who's our parent company, they were a huge factor in, in getting heavy, heavy equipment fully available in the summertime when all the other resources are usually fighting fire. They wanted to have you know, kind of exclusive use to these big, uh, big lifters. So that was a big driving factor on that program. And then another one, the 429 example is, is customer driven, but a little bit of us trying to get ahead of the curve on the twin engine HEC stuff, which uh, as of now is not a requirement in the United States. It is in any other country. Um, we kind of see the writing on the wall and we kind of want to be innovators in that space. So that was a big investment into that program. We started here in 2004 and we had seven helicopters. At that time, I was just doing, you know, a little bit of uh, instruction initially for some some younger guys that were here, and worked my way into the into the wire wire environment, and wire work, and the 133 side of the operation, as well as 135. So moved through different airframes, and and today, uh, chief pilot. So the 407 is definitely the the light workhorse of uh, PJ helicopters. We've got 15 of them. Um, it's great for power line construction, does, it's great for HEC. It's a light helicopter that can lift a lot as well, so the cost to operate it, it uh, you get a lot, a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, Utility Hawk has a max you know, payload of 8,000 pounds, and of course, as we know, in, in the helicopter world, that changes based on elevation and temperature. Um, so the Bambi buckets that we run are approximately 900 you know, odd gallons of water. Um, and of course, that, that weight varies um, depending on how full you, you fill the bucket, of course. Um, and so, you know, with these upgraded engines, we run the 701Ds on these Alpha Plus platforms. Um, I mean, they're, they're fantastic engines, and so they give us, you know, our, our max gross uh, capability and high altitudes during the summer. I wouldn't say that we always max gross the aircraft, um, but we're definitely, you know, pushing it to its limits performance-wise, and it, and it yields a great result. The Blackhawk fleet just grew on us, like, exponentially. I think when I started, there was uh, somewhere around 12 aircraft here, and we leased our first 407, and now we have 15 407s, and... 11 going on 12 flyers on Blackhawks and our second CH-47 almost up. So the dynamic really blew up um, and we went from like five mechanics all the way up to like 80 something now. So recruiting, so we've done uh, going to schools to pick up people before they get up. Um, we really try to tailor a few interns, so to speak, on like each of our programs, so our lights, mediums, and heavies. However many we can handle within the quality side of the department, um, we'll bring in one or two guys in each uh, sector basically and try to train them up and get them in-house trained so they can test out without having to pay for the schooling, which is awesome. And then if we can get a couple of guys from school that are fresh, get their AMPs and come straight to us, we can train them on our programs and our SOPs and um, we've had really good success doing that.